today we're going to be learning how to make sushi for beginners. Uh, let's get started. So the ingredients that you're going to need to make your sushi is avocado, um, rice, shrimp, um, cream cheese, and seaweed. And uh, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to lay out our seaweed. Okay. And um, there's going to be little lines on the seaweed. You're going to want to face them um, lateral towards you so the um, lines are long ways. And the next thing you do is you take your rice and you're going to want to get um, short grain rice or else like it's not going to stick. If anything, if you get used like normal, uh, just like long grain rice, it's not going to stick to the seaweed. Okay, so then you just start to evenly lay out the rice on the seaweed. And it kind of takes a while. And you don't want to put too much rice on there because then when you eat it, like all you taste is rice and it's gross. So you keep getting little spoonfuls and just evenly distribute that rice onto there. And um, a good recipe for um, sushi rice is you use, I think, two cups of short grain rice and you boil it for about um, 20 minutes. You leave it on simmer. And then after it's done simmering, you cool it for about 10 minutes. And um, you're also supposed to put rice vinegar in it it's going to say like use like half a cup, but I wouldn't use half a cup because I did and it tasted really, really bad. So just use like a few drops in that. And there's like all sorts of different sushi recipes for like the rice. So you can just find whatever one works for you the best. We're almost done putting that rice on there. And your hands are going to get kind of like messy so I have like this towel here to like wipe it off every once in a while. All right. Almost done with that. All right. Okay, that looks pretty good. Okay, so the next step is to cut your avocado open. So you get an avocado and you just carefully Cut it down the middle until it hits the pit. And you work your way around. Just like so. And then you open it up like that. And it doesn't matter what side you use. Um, take your spoon. I'm going to like wipe it off because it has rice on it. And you're going to scoop out your avocado. And just start at the like edge there. All right, there's your avocado. And you're just gonna cut it into thin little uh, rows, like that. And just be sure not to cut your fingers open. I'm gonna do thin little slices. like that. Okay. Make them, you don't want to make them too thick or it's going to be just too much avocado on there. All right. And now we're ready to lay it out and that's um, easy. You just put it in a line like that. lay it out and we're about to go to a commercial break um, next we're just going to add the rest of the ingredients on there and we're going to roll it up and um, we'll have a complete sushi we'll be right back are you tired of eating gross and bland vegetables every day then try the new and amazing veggie drops ever since I started using veggie drops I feel great and I never have to worry about the foods I hate 
Just add a few drops to your water and you have a tasty drink with all the nutrients you need. This easy to use supplement is great for on the go and can be added to any of your favorite beverages. Just shot for veggie drops at any Hi and welcome back. Um, we left off with putting the avocado on our sushi. Um, now we're just going to kind of season the avocado so it's not um, bland. And I just do use like salt and pepper on mine so I'm going to put a little pepper on those slices. Don't put a whole bunch or it's going to like overpower it to me. Spicy, and then we're just gonna sprinkle a little bit of salt onto the avocado. All right. Okay, and uh, the next step, we can put the cream cheese on there. And you can get whatever kind of cream cheese you want. I'm just getting, I use regular. You can use fat-free if you wanna be like a little more healthy. Okay, so wipe that off. All right, and with the cream cheese, it's basically the same cutting thing as the avocado. You just cut a thin line, just about like a centimeter width, just like that. And you're probably gonna wanna cut down the middle of that because it's gonna be like a lot of cream cheese if you don't, and it's good to do it when you take it like right out of the fridge because if it's like soft it's going to be hard to cut. So here is the other piece and we're going to put a little bit more cream cheese on there like that and you just want to make it nice and even. And now we can uh, use the shrimp and with the shrimp, it's already cooked. Um, you're, of course, going to want to boil shrimp. I don't think you can eat shrimp raw. Um, but you can eat fish raw. I'm not using raw fish today because I don't want to get salmonella. I don't really know how to handle raw meats. So um, with the shrimp, you just do as you did with the avocado and the cream cheese. You're just going to evenly line it up. And it's gonna be about like seven or eight little shrimps on there. Or you can also use that um, faux crab that they sell. Um, they don't sell it in like normal grocery stores. I think it's like more at like the health food places, so it's not as easy to find. This is easy to get. They just pre-sell little boiled shrimp in a bag. I think it was only like $3, so, okay. And so the next step is going to be we're going to roll the sushi up and you're going to want to roll it as tight as you can so it's going to be easier to cut. And you just start at the base like this and just try to keep it as tight and neat as possible. Okay, so you're rolling it up. All right, and you have your sushi roll. And the next step we're gonna do is to cut it. So you have little sushi pieces. And this makes about like six pieces of sushi. I think you cut it about like an, it, uh, an inch in width. So we're gonna do that. You just simply cut it. All right, there's one, two, actually might make five, I'm not sure. All right, and this is basically how you make sushi. Um, as you can see, it's ready to eat, and you can add soy sauce to it if you'd like, and um, that is all for today, thank you.